This is the PWPAM USB electrolytic sodium hypochlorite generator. Basically what it does is it turns water and salt into bleach. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get an instruction booklet, some test strips I'll show you a little bit later, a spoon for the salt, and here is the generator itself. That plugs in USB, this goes in the water. So in this day and age, sometimes finding cleaning solutions like bleach uh, is pretty difficult. But you can make your own using water and salt. If you remember anything from chemistry class, salt is sodium chloride. And what this will do is it will separate the sodium and the chloride to give you chlorine. And chlorine mixed with water is bleach. So let's get some water. I'll put a test strip in and just show you it's plain water. And then we'll add some salt, put this in, and let it cook. So here is approximately a half cup of water, or four ounces. Test strip they give you should change color if there's bleach. And there is not, because it hasn't changed. Now we're going to add salt. You add one spoonful of salt for every 100 milliliters of water. 100 milliliters is 3.38 ounces. I have four ounces, so I'm going to put a spoon and just a little sprinkle more in there. One spoonful of salt going in, and I'm going to just stir that to dissolve it, and I'll also add just a little bit more. And now we take the device, put it in the water, and I'm going to just arrange the wire so it sits in there fully submersed like that. That should be good just about right there. And we'll go ahead and turn on power. It's plugged into one of these USB adapter things. And it looks like nothing is really happening. There's a couple little bubbles coming out of it. But we're going to let this sit and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. This hasn't been running for more than 30 seconds and I smell chlorine already. So it definitely is going to work. So we'll just leave this sit for its prescribed amount of time and come back and test it with the test strip. You can see it's working right there. Every now and again there's an air bubble that comes up. All the air is out of it. It's been submersed for some time and you can see the water fizzing around in there and the smell of bleach is getting a lot stronger. Well, about 15 minutes have gone by, so I'm ready to take this device out and test the water. I'll use the other side of the test strip that I used before. Oh, wow! Look at that. Immediately. That is fantastic. It absolutely worked. That is a treat. So now you can make your own bleach solution right at home. And in fact, you can put this in a bottle, like a spray bottle, and it'll keep for up to a week. And what do we use? Just a little bit of salt. Water is basically free. And now you have bleach. Just like that. That really worked great. Another absolutely fantastic product from PWPAM. I've tested a number of their products, and I've been increasingly impressed with each one. They make some absolutely wonderful sterilization products, and I do suggest that you go and check out the other items they have available for sale. Once again, this was the PWPAM USB Electrolytic Sodium Hypochlorite Generator. Does a great job in only a few minutes with basically almost free ingredients, and you get something very valuable in this day and age, bleach solution. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.